got him, got him, got him, fish on. What is that? That's gotta be a trout or a salmon. Uh oh. about ready to get this party started right down there that's the Oswego River conditions are absolutely perfect today you can see my entire getup so I'm usually not dressed this properly for the conditions but this river you have to wear a PFD so I have that on and then I was like all right I'll make a makeshift poncho and just stick that on let's see oh right now I'm trying to figure out a way to get over there to the main river just made it let's go we're right where the herons are Great sign off the bat. And this is gonna be my first step in the Oswego River. Everyone fishes that side because you can't access this side. And it was actually, I found this spot by mistake the first time I fished the river. Wow, look at this vintage reel. That thing has probably caught all the king salmon and trout in the river. And now it's been retired at the bottom of the creek. Oh, it's windy down here today. No sightings of kings yet. They're in here though. Got him, fish on! Whoa! Wait, I just had something massive on over here. Oh my god, did you guys see that? Did you see that strike? That was huge. Okay, we, we might be getting into the first fish of the day, giant! What, is that a smallmouth? Guys, that's a smallmouth bass. On the jerk bait. Oh, that's a monster! Okay, I was not expecting that. I thought I'd be catching a brown trout. That's like a four pound smallmouth. Right away, I just got down here. That was freaking epic. Nobody targets these things out of here. This thing's a tank. I don't believe it. The steelhead rod is hard to land smallmouth on, but we got him. First fish of the day. Hey, we will totally take that. On the Rapala Husky Dirk Jointed, with a single hook because that's how the regulations are here. You got to have like one of these little hook chains and then the hook attached to it. But this fish came back and hit it like three times after the initial strike. Crazy catch. I mean, that's just not something you'd expect when you're salmon or trout fishing. Let's get this beast back on his way. That is all of like a four pounder. Probably three and a half, four. Thought you were a trout. Show me the trout, Mr. Smallmouth. There he goes, darting away, but I got a feeling we're going to catch a lot more fish today. Not only smallmouth, but hopefully some of the salmon. And a little recap of what went down to get to this spot. I had to trek it over. You see like that structure up there? There's a whole channel lock system that I had to hike over. And everyone fishing us, we go from that side. It's hard to access on this side. And it was clear by the way that smallmouth was biting. I got like three hits in a row from him. And if that wasn't the same fish, whoa, you see that? That was something giant, probably a king. But if it wasn't the same fish biting, then there are other monster fish that are looking to bite Rapalos right here, so. Nobody's casting here. Something's happening here. Something insane is happening here. I'm about to hook into the first brown trout of the day. I just got followed in over the weeds by something giant. There are fish over here completely swirling it, blowing up on top. Okay, I gotta tighten my drag. This is, this is gnarly. Oh. That heron has pissed them in his spot. I scared him earlier in the creek and he's back for vengeance. And I'm getting soaked. The dedication of the send right now, all time. So I'm gonna keep exploring around. I think my best shot is just gonna be kind of wading around in here and casting up. So I'm gonna put the phone away and just start fishing all throughout here. I got a really good feeling about this fishing. Let's do it. The wind sock, this thing always gets soaked. Uh, it's just like it's bound to get wet. This could be a good section up here. I'm just working way upstream now. I want to get to some new water and get the jerk bait in front of some new fish. Oh man, we just got cut off. I don't think I'm gonna get up any further. So I came back here and if this lure isn't successfully hooking any fish, I'm gonna switch up to something else. But for now, I just want to get a cast down here. Maybe from upstream to downstream. That is the only thing on my mind right now. Land a freaking monster. 
You gotta check out this pot of bait fish right here. I was walking out of the creek. That's crazy. That's an insane school. Made it back to the car. These are the conditions that we're faced with. It's a little bit messy back here, but I'm gonna cook myself up some lunch using my portable camping stove that I have right here. And now you're probably asking yourself, what's this kid doing? I haven't spilled the beans yet, but I'm gonna do it right now. I'm car camping out of the Outback tonight. It was my first night ever of car camping. I've always wanted to do it. I've been a little bit hesitant though because it's out of my comfort zone, if I'm being honest. It's like, it's, I'm not used to it. So I decided I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna car camp tonight. Bring you guys along for the adventure. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing later on, but I'm gonna get all this organized back here, get my sleeping quarters set up, get a little editing station and see how cozy we can make this thing. This is the bare basics of car camping. I will get upgrades once I kind of get more acclimated to just this. It's not the most appealing way of living, but I think that it could just be one of the most eye-opening slash inspiring lifestyles that I could ever try to embark on because it just makes you appreciate the smallest things. As long as you can get up every single day and just live your best life, that's kind of all that it is. So let's get this entire back trunk organized. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little tricky, let's see. How's it looking? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Got the entire setup all ready to go. It didn't really take that long. I got totally soaked when I was doing it though. I'm looking at the rain coming down being like, I'm gonna get the entire car just drenched. But I think we're gonna have to fish. I'm gonna cook myself up some lunch in a second and get with the car camping lifestyle. Subaru. Here it goes. This is the first crawl into the back of the car to get acclimated. Ooh, there we go. I could totally crash like this. I'm probably gonna leave the car right here tonight. I'm in this parking lot right on the side of the Oswego River. The river's straight ahead and it's like awesome. All right, so I got my stove back here. This is the IsoPro MSR IsoPro stove that I've always used. The options for dinner tonight, pasta primavera, very tempting. Got some oatmeal that I might eat. Some Bernie's O's, looking, looking tasty. Oh, I have pasta. And I think I bought sauce too. There we go, all right. You know what? I'm gonna make myself a nice pasta dinner tonight. I don't think I have a plate. We're gonna eat it out of the pot. It's fine. Fire hazard? Potentially. That's sounding and looking really good. First meal in the Subaru too. A lot of firsts for today. Caught that small mouth earlier, I'm feeling good. It's cold and rainy. It's cold and rainy. This is the only way I can get to my pasta, but it's boiled. First meal in the Subaru. I don't have a lid to drain this. There we go. Okay, ah, it's getting soaking wet back here. I'm hopping back in and eat my pasta. camping sick from now until sunset or whenever i can't even fish anymore because i'm getting too cold i am going all out back out into the oswego river to try to land a king salmon or a trout got a spoon tied on and i was getting so many bites earlier that i just couldn't call quits for the rest of the day i'm gonna get out here and go 100 percent So I make my way up to a crazy, crazy looking spot. This is gonna check me out from today's video on the car camping send. Abandoned river building, whatever it might be. I'm gonna fish 
a little past this. Might be a really bad idea. Also might get me on some insane fish. So I'm gonna head back to the car after this, get settled for the night, and then wake up tomorrow to do some more fishing. But until next time, keep on getting out there, keep on promoting the positivity of fishing, and keep on sending it no matter what, no matter where you are. Go with your gut, follow your dreams, and stick to it no matter what, because this entire trip has been way outside my comfort zone, but at the same time, something I've been needing to do for a while, and I finally did it. It feels so good to check off just the first day and trial of car camping. I definitely look forward to doing more in the future. I have so much to learn, and that's probably the most humbling part about all these sends. <laughs> this just looks it just looks you guys are in for something crazy in the next video i'll catch you guys there sky life out